Hi, I'm Nancy Malay, and I'm really excited about being part of the Artful Gathering 2013 faculty. I have been working in paper clay for about a decade, but I've been creating for about 30 years. I've um, worked in all kinds of different mediums, but paper clay is probably my favorite, and I think you'll enjoy working with it too. I have learned um, on my own, but also learning from other artists and friends, but I think it's so fun to do like a video class where you can almost like pulling a chair up beside me in the studio and showing you how to do it um, hands-on. I wish years ago there was somebody that could have, I could have the opportunity to do that too and that's why I think it's going to be so fun to teach this class and um, show you all the techniques and uh, through trial and error that I've learned over the years. And um, what we'll be doing is work paper clay is a air dry clay. It's really fun to work with. It gives great detail. And I think once you do work with it, you're going to want to create again and again with the same product. And I'll also be showing you um, products that I like to use as far as tools and paint and um, different stuff that has worked well for me. You don't always have to use the same things, but I'll be giving you tips and techniques on those also. And um, I'll be showing you how to create a basic bird body um, and the armature from the armature all the way to um, painting and embellishing it for four different holidays. One of the things that I think is great about creating is when you do it with someone else. Um, I grew up, my mom taught me how to sew, um, and I remember f nine, ten times taking out a zipper, and at the time I thought it was torture, but looking back on it, that's how I really learned how to do it, and we used to have fun. I can remember making doll clothes with her and thinking it was so neat how the tiny little buttons she could sew on so perfectly, and just things like that that create memories, and I think that's one of the fun parts about learning how to make something like this is having someone to share it with, whether it be a, a mom, a friend, or you can get together in a group, maybe like a book club, um, but get together in an art club and, and help each other make things. And it's fun. It's a fun thing to do. It's a great hobby. And this is a great way to start because it, it's simple enough. If you haven't worked with paper clay before, I, like I said, I'll teach you all the tips and techniques I've learned from you know along the way but even if you have worked with it before you can take that knowledge and um, and learn some new things that uh, maybe you did something a certain way and the way I'm showing you might be uh, a way that's easier to do it but like I said it's going to be a fun um, learning experience but it's something that you can carry on yourself and I think it'll give you inspiration to keep wanting to do it it's not something just like a one-time thing you took a class and you're done with it I think you'll really enjoy it and like I said everybody has a creative side and Tapping into that is something that you may not even know that you enjoy as much as you do. What's really fun about um, this online class like this is you'll be able to ask me any questions that you have along the way. And we'll also be part of a forum where you can um, communicate with the other um, people that are taking the class. And this way they can share things that maybe they find easier to do and that you might find it easier to do that way too. And it's, it's like a little community where you can um, get to know each other and have fun along the way doing it. I think you're going to find after you start working with paper clay, you'll see how easy it is to work with and you'll want to keep um, keep creating with it. You'll want to, you can take the basic bird that I showed you how to make in this class and like I said you'll be making one for each holiday and you'll be able to take that te those techniques and those um, lessons that you've learned and turn it into a rabbit or turn it into a doll or you can just take the basic techniques that you're learning here and you can um, expand on those and uh, using your own creative style and your own artistic abilities that you, you do have. You can tap into that and I think you'll want to um, continue to uh, create with, with that. One nice thing about taking this class is it's not expensive. The supplies are not expensive and you can be using things that are around your home. Um, the paper clay is the one thing that you'll have, but there's also um, some tools, like I said, that I like to use that I can tell you what those are, but you can use a knife or you can use a, a, a coat hanger for part of the armature. There's all those things that it's not expensive. Um, I like to recycle and reuse so there'll be things that you can use in your project that you don't have to go out and purchase. Um, I was going to offer kits for it but to me that kind of limits your creativity. If I offer you a kit it would look just like the one I'm making and I don't want it to be like that. I want you to um, use things in your project that you like to use that are um, that you just have around the house like or you found at Goodwill or you found at an antique store that'll make it uh, totally special um, like I'll be giving you the um, 
the techniques and everything to do it, but you might want to change the color of the coat on the bird to blue, that's your favorite color. You might want to, instead of adding a flower on the top of the um, Easter piece, you might want to put a hat. And there's all those things that you can change to make it your own. And I think that's what's fun about it. It's not expensive to do, and it's something that you can use the materials you have around your home to do it. The other fun part for me is going to be see what um, the students create from what I'm showing them. Um, I think everybody has a different style. My style is um, kind of a folk art style. I like a lot of glitter, a lot of sparkle, and I like to use things that I have in my studio, like old pieces of lace, old pieces of trim, um, buttons, things like that. And maybe you'll have things that have special importance to you that you have in your home, whether it be a, a pin from your grandma or, or materials like that that you can use. And it's fun to see what people come up with um, doing the same thing I'm doing, but theirs may look totally different and it will have special meaning for you at the, at the same time. I'm really excited for you to join me for my class, and Zoe is too. She's my dog that spends a day in the studio with me, and we hope to see you there.